Welcome everybody. This is Greg again. And like I always say, I got another review for you. Today it's the Wismec Rulo RX 200 uh, from Wismec and designed by Jabo. Um, a three battery uh, 18650 mod. Say 200 watt mod with temperature control. Uh, it does do stainless steel, nickel, and titanium. Um, and so far, it's kind of nice. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to dive down and show you all a little bit about it. All right, here we go. Here is the box it comes in. Can't get it on all on my camera because i got a bad setup, but still working on that. Um, that's what it looks like to the side. Sorry, guys. Uh, Reload RX200. The Wismec logo. I think that's the Wismec logo. Uh, Wismec.com. Again. Wismec. Right. Let me help you out there. All that great information. A little authentication. This one is black. And it comes with a the mod itself and a USB cable. Bear with me. Sorry. It's going to be a little shaky there for a second. And there we go. Sorry. All right, so that's done. I can actually put that away now. Um, ah, get in there. Sorry, guys. Hold on a sec. There we go. That's good. All right, whatever. All right, here we go. I'm gonna take my tank off here. This is the crown tank that I just did a review on, and I am loving it, by the way. Uh, stainless steel coils in this thing. Stainless steel coil, dual parallel stainless steel coil. All right. Give you a good look at it here. You have vent holes on the side, right here. This is the front vent holes. It's actually the vent holes to the board, right there and there. You have a big screen, clicky buttons. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's very clicky. You have nice USB charging and up firmware upgrades. Um, this actually has been upgraded to the new firmware. There is an upgrade. Uh, I had to do it myself. I bought it, and the upgrade came right out, so I didn't get a chance to get one that was already upgraded. Um, but there is like a little design here. If you get the yellow, uh, blue, blah. sorry, let me learn my colors. If you get the teal and the white, this uh, area right here with the faces, this will be teal, this will be white, and the battery door right here will be teal again. But it's a very strange shape. Sorry, I'm moving the camera around again. It's a very strange shape, but it works. It feels really good. Uh, I've got stubby short hands, and it still feels really good. Um, the Wismex logo right there. Little airflow channel things. It is a spring-loaded 510. Let's go down here. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is a little blemish right there. Yeah, you can see it. Barely. That came out of the box like that. That's not from my doing. It came in like that. I'm not too happy about that. Um, sorry, I got a little bit. Desk is a little dirty. Picked up a little dirt on my desk. Got some nice vent holes right here. It does say low, all that good stuff. All right, so let's take a look at the battery door. Go upside down. You actually have to put both fingers in these little slots right here and pull really hard. These magnets are really strong. All right, here's the batteries. Get a little ribbon, nice little ribbon right here. Actually, you can just pull the front one right out, and then pop the other two out. And they are nice and springy pins. I don't know if you can tell right there. Nice and springy. Uh, very solid. Very, very solid. Um, the original... The DNA version actually has... Uh, these, these are actually reset. Uh, have like a little... Uh, raised up area around this button. Sorry. Again, I'm working on that. It has like a raised up area around this, so you can't put your battery in, but only one way. Um, I, I find that a little tedious and kind of annoying. It, it It's just, why do you want to ha have to worry about which way your battery is going in? Why not just, you know, you've got the 
I mean, yeah, you want to worry about where your battery is going in, but you have the reverse polarity protection. Why well, have that? There's no point for that. I apologize. Let me get this thing straight for you guys. There. Shouldn't go anywhere now. I hope. There we go. I'm getting a tripod, too. <laughs> Taxes come in. There's an upgrade for me. Anyways. Uh, it is very clearly marked. This is a plus, minus. These two go down plus. And these, ma again, these magnets are very, very, very strong. This door is actually a little on the hard side to get off. All right, let me show you. See if I can actually show you guys a little bit. There is Jayla right there on the button. I like that a lot. Actually, it's really cool. There it is. See it right there. Let's see if I can actually show you guys the menus and all that good stuff. This operates a lot like the uh, the iStick 100 watt. This big guy, my all-time favorite mod. Uh, I think it's actually, I think that actually is by the same people that did this. What happened was, uh, Wizmec noticed that not everybody could enjoy the, thir the three 18650 batteries, the full 200 watts and all that kind of stuff, with the DNA 200 bat uh, board, because the DNA 200 board is extremely expensive. I don't know if you guys have looked it up yet, but that the, the Rulo DNA 200 is actually around 160 bucks. Um, I could be a little high or it could be a little low, actually. I'm not sure, but I believe it was $160. I'll double check when we go back up. Um, this one, 50 bucks. $50. So what they did was they teamed up with uh, Joytech and had Joytech make a uh, board for them. I believe Wismec is actually part of Joytech. I could be wrong on that, but I believe they are part of them. Anyways, so let's see if I can actually show you this board. I mean the screen. Oh yeah, you can. You can see it. Nice and bright there. Very bright. Your up and down buttons. I'm actually in power power mode right now. There is a, uh, a lock feature on here. If you push both up and down, it does lock it. And you can actually fire. See it says no atomizer. You can actually fire without having to worry about turning your wattage up and down. So let's unlock it. Push both again. Unlocked. It, it looks so much like the iStick. It operates a lot like the iStick too. Alright, so the switch from power mode, watt right there, 42 watts, and you have your battery indicator and ohms and volts. I can't really see volts that well on this, but it's there. To switch from power mode to temp mode, we'll actually push the button three times. One, two, three. And it goes in a nickel. A little nickel right there. And it shows your watts and your ohms. Let's push it three more times. One, two, three. And it switched to titanium. So it's a little TI for titanium. And I've actually been cruising in stainless steel. Push it three more times, you get the stainless steel. Um, with this new crown, crown tank and having stainless steel coils, I've been running in it. And let's just say it works. It does work. It's very nice, actually. Um, it will protect from going over. So it gets to that point, hits that point, and then kind of I think what it does, I've got to do more research on it. I apologize if I'm completely wrong on this. I think it pulses with um, with the coil differentials um, and actually keeps it at that temp uh, around that that same temperature or uh, not temperature. Ah, crap! I don't know what I'm talking about. Well, I know what I'm talking. Yeah, I'm not going to go into it. Embarrass myself on camera. Um, but it does work. I can tell it's working uh, because it goes to that and it kind of drops back. And I can actually look and see it's temperature protected. Um, and then all of a sudden it'll go out of temperature protection when it actually drops below. Anyways, so to turn it off, you actually one, two, three. I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five. It turns it off. One, two, three, four, five. Turns it back on. I want to put it back in temp mode. One two three, one two three, one two three. There isn't a, a huge complicated menu on this. I mean, with the DNA two hundred, yeah, you get the whole cool splash screen to customize. You can customize all your coefficients and all kinds of good stuff like that. I haven't had to worry about it. I mean, this is all I really need—a good, simple mod. 
Um, oh yeah, there's one more thing. One, two, three, four, five. Turn it off. You can push these two buttons together at the same time. And it flips your screen, just like on the iStick. We'll push them again, flip it back. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, turn it on. There we go. I'll put this back on here, where I'm going to vape on it, and we're going to go back and talk, finish up talking about this good thing. Sorry. Um, I would do want to say I apologize, guys, for uh, bumbling through my words and the statements and everything. I'm really tired. It's 3 o'clock right now. I'm getting ready to go to bed. Um, but I did want to get this review out because the longer I wait, it's going to be the first of the year, and I'll just be putting it out, and nobody really wants to see it that, that far away from the release. Um, so I did want to get you guys to it. Uh, I did want to get you guys to the actual review, and I've had it for a couple weeks now, and really the only downside is, well, one, it's heavy, which you kind of expect with the 318650 battery mod, um, and it does come with did come with that blemish, and I've actually scratched it a couple of times. There's, I mean, on the bottom you kind of expect, but actually, if you look up under the tank, I mean, nobody sees anything under the tank unless you take it off. There's actually a really scratch, a really faint scratch. I don't know how it got there. Um, I don't know how well the paint job holds up. I mean, like I said, it's been, I want to say it's been two weeks, and I've had this mod, and it, it hasn't gotten too scratched up, but it, it I mean, the food shy. Which everybody's complaining about the coat that's coming off. I haven't had one scratch, one blemish. The coat's not coming off or anything. This, I'm getting scratches. And I've had this longer. I mean, I don't understand it. But it's not a bad mod. It really isn't. And the scratches aside, it's great. Oh, oh, oh. One important downside I haven't mentioned yet. Um... When I first got this, before I did the update, my board was getting really hot. Like the mod itself, back here where the batteries are, not hot at all. I take the battery door off, put it against my face, it's cold almost. But the board would heat up, like really badly, really, really badly, to the point where I was afraid to use it. And I did the update, and it stopped. Um, I guess that's a fix? I don't know. I guess it's one of the fixes they did. Sorry, my camera's bouncing around. Uh... I did contact Wismac to try to figure out what was going on before I did the update. They never responded to me. Don't know why. I guess I was in a line. It's been about a week and a half since I contacted them. Uh, I guess they don't care that their mod's heating up. Not sure. Anyways. So I guess I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Um, the parameters, it is 40 by... 50 by 84 millimeters, start test 510, cell type 318650, blah, 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 blah. Output one. Oh, I, excuse me, I'm sorry. The output wattage is 1 to 200 watts. It does go down to 1 watt. And the temperature range is 200 to 600 degrees Fahrenheit and 1 to 300 degrees, 100 to 300 degrees uh, Celsius. Resistance range is 0.05. To 0 0.1 ohm, 0 0.05. I don't have a mod that goes that low. That's awesome. Um, variable wattage. That's in temperature control mode. I apologize. Wattage mode. It goes 0.1 to 0.35 variable wattage. That's still really low. Uh, uh, 0.69 inch OLED screen. Blah blah blah. Main features. Oh yes. The reason why the 318650 is awesome is because once you start getting up there in the, the wattage, um, how do I explain this? The uh, output power wattage actually starts to drop. And with two cells, it drops pretty dramatically. And with three cells, it'll go further and then drop. Um, and the reason for that is it just cannot put out the ohm. I mean, the, the amperage it needs to to withstand that without pulsing. Once you get to a certain, uh, a lot of mods, when you get to a certain um, certain resistance, I mean, a certain, uh, again, I apologize. I'm tired as I'll get out. 
once you get to a certain wattage, it'll start to pulse. This will go further without pulsing. I don't even know if it pulses at all. I don't use it that high, honestly. I mean, when I do run it in power mode, it runs in uh, around 70 watts at the max. Um, mm, sorry, I'm looking down the, the website to see if I missed anything. Uh, yes, there's that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's really nothing else to it. It's pretty pretty damn simple. Um, pretty damn simple. Um, it works well with stainless steel. I mean, this whole stainless steel temperature control is a new thing now, a little newer, and it works very well with it. Uh, I actually can't stand nickel anymore. I've tried nickel on my Fuchai a lot just to try to get used to it. I just couldn't do it. It, it it heats up strangely. I even tried nickel on this. I didn't like it. Uh, it really heats up strangely. Pre I've tried pre-made. I tried making them. Everything. I just didn't like it. Straight up didn't like it. And I've yet to try titanium. But the stainless steel is working great. Working wonderful. Um, that's pretty much it. Got that milk still in there. That glad milk by glass. So it's good. Um, but yeah, that's it. I will put some links down to the uh, put some links down in the bottom where you can pick one up. Uh, even the DNA two hundred, I'll put that down there too, just in case anybody's looking for one of those. It's they're pretty nice, not gonna lie. J Bo did really well in designing this. Um, for anybody that didn't know, Jabo is a designer. He does. He does. Um, I don't know if he just designs mods, but I know he does a lot of mods. Um, he did the noisy cricket. This. He did the instructable Addy. He does stuff like that. Um, anyways, I'm rambling. I apologize, guys. Uh, I need to get some sleep. But I will put the links down in the bottom where you can actually pick one of these up. Uh, again, you can go to East Sigety. Uh, and pick one up, or you can go to your local vape store, which I always support if you want to go that route. Unfortunately, the vape store near me sells it for about fifty dollars more. Um, so I went with the Isagini, but you can pick them up just about anywhere now if you can find one in stock. That's the hard part. Anyways, uh, if you like the video, please like, give me a thumbs up, comment if you want to comment. That would be great. I love hearing you guys' opinions, your comments, your improvements, suggestions, um, even if you guys want to uh, make a suggestion for a video, I'd love to hear that. Um, you can say, hey, douchebag, you're, why are you wearing a Milwaukee hat? What the hell's up with that? Anyways, <laughs> um, and even better, if you do like me, please subscribe. There are always great videos to come, great videos. I, I want to do a mech mod video one day. Um, I haven't gotten into mech mods that much. I uh, did one on my ABS, but I want to do some tube mod back mods and maybe even get to a 26650 mod one day. Uh, soon, hopefully soon. But, um, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Take care.